Winnie, she's seven months old, and she started getting some dirty thoughts around objects. So it's not, and, and this is the way people evaluate aggression on, well, he nipped. Right? Well, something about aggression, it is the thought, it is not the action. If you see your dog tensing, all right, hard stare, freezing, all those signs are dangerous signs. And that is where you need to take action. And I'll tell you this flat out. If your dog is showing any signs of possessive aggression, it is not for you to handle. You need a professional trainer who knows how to work you through it. Because you're guessing, and what a lot of people do is they get angry with the dog, or they're going to show the dog who's boss. Well, that doesn't usually work out too well. <laughs> Could I have a Band-Aid? Anyway, so if your dog starts to freeze, tighten, or become very tense when it has an object, you want to start teaching the dog to work around it. Some of the things I've done with Winnie is, hey Winnie, good girl. So instead of challenging her on this, I just said, you know, good news. So she gets used to me approaching, and then I started teaching her the word O-U-T, which is out. And what that means is drop it out of your mouth. And when she does that, again, after she releases the object, I will then reward her. And what's happened now is when I go to take an object, because a lot of times the dog will lay like this, and if you go for the object, they tense up or they'll growl. I'm going to tell her out, and since it was my credit card who bought this toy, it's mine. Out. Good girl! And then reward her. And there are certain objects, too. This is a compressed rawhide, which I like. Right. But if your dog is getting stuff like pig's ears and high-value chewables and you find them starting to get a little bit funny around them, pull them. Get other objects that are appropriate that are really not high-value. The other thing with the pig's ears is salmonella. Right. If you have kids in the house, it's just like, I don't want body parts that are decaying and letting my dog chew on them. So this is a little bit better. And again, you have to make sure you get American-made rides where it's not treated with all this junk. What? I don't even like you. You are such a good girl. Yes. So, I've made it where instead of a tense situation, we now have an understanding. If I come up, Winnie, out. Excellent. Good girl. Yes. Take it and then give it back to her. Okay. Now, I'll practice this consistently. She's seven months old. She already told me, you know what? I'm not sure I'm going to let you. So I want to do this on a daily basis, use different objects, and make it a fun game, and also non-negotiable. If you notice, one of the mistakes people make, they start doing this, and that will really start getting the dog to escalate. So when I go to take that, I'm reaching in and taking it like it's mine. And again, if you're having a possessive aggression problem, you need to call a professional trainer to deal with it. This is not something most people can deal with on their own.